In this lesson, we will understand the concept of a unit rate, A divided by B, associated with a ratio, A to B, with B not equal to zero, and use rate language in a context of a ratio relationship. Boy, that's a mouthful. Well, we can simplify this with code, so don't worry. Let's start by coding our first problem. Now I'm going to copy and paste the problem into our interpreter. I would like for you to pause this video and type this in exactly as you see it. Do that now. Okay, now that you have it all typed in, let's get to work. Let's create ourselves a blank space here. So our this is our problem. The recipe has a ratio of three cups to of flour to four cups of sugar to make one cake. So there is a three quarter cup of flour for each cup of sugar. Hmm. Okay, so let's get to work on this. We're going to start by commenting our first variable because it looks like we're going to have to uh, code three variables here. So let's comment out. Commenting is important. Our first variable. So we'll say f will equal the number of cups of flour. And we're going to assign f the value of 3. f equals 3. All right. Now let's comment out our next variable, which will be s. And s will equal the number of cups of sugar. Alright, press enter and we will assign S the value of 4. Are you starting to see where we're going here with this? If not, continue on. It will make sense in the end. Alright, so we are going to comment a third variable which will be N and we will say that N will equal the number of cakes. And we'll set n to 1. And finally, we need to print our results. So we're going to say print cups of sugar Let's make sugar capitalized. And we're going to say cups of sugar in quotes, cups of sugar equals in quotes, right? Because that's how we um, actually code a print statement, then a comma, and then the value of S times N which is S, the amount of sugar, times the number of cakes. And then finally, we're going to print the cups of flour. And we will type equals, close the quotes, and it will be F times n. So the um, the number of cups of sugar times the number of cakes. Alright, so 
Let's click run. Hmm. So we have, if we have one cake, it requires four cups of sugar and three cups of flour to make one cake. So what if we wanted to make 15 cakes? Let's say you owned a cake business and someone called in and said, I have, I have, I need 15 cakes. Well, you could change your number of cakes to 15. Click run. Ah, we need 60 cups of sugar and 45 cups of flour. Now, hmm, how do we know that this is correct? Because our ratio is 3 to 4. Well, if we divide the number of cakes into the number of cups of flour, we will get 45 divided by 15, which will be 3. And if we divide the number of cups of sugar by the number of cakes, which is 15, we will get an answer of 4, giving us a ratio of 3 to 4. Now, what if someone called and said, hmm, I need 50 cakes. So we change the number of cakes, go ahead and do that, to 50, click run, and whoa, look at there, we need 15, we need uh, 150 cups of flour, and um, 200 cups of sugar. Once again, though, if we divide 50 into 150, we get 3. And if we divide 50 into 200, we get 4, giving us a ratio of 3 to 4. And that's how we solve this problem with code. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.